Hello, I'm James, and in this video, we're gonna make sense of the numbers. Today, we're gonna to talk about the PE ratio, and I'm gonna show you how this is a great indicator for us to get an idea of how much a stock is currently worth. So what is the PE ratio? The PE ratio is the price to earnings ratio of a stock. What that means is it's a ratio of the current price per share of the stock versus the earnings or the profit of that company or stock per share. So if we have a hypothetical company here, which has exactly 10 shares and the company is currently priced at $1 per share. So someone in the market is willing to sell me the share for $1. The company's profit last year was $20. That means that the earnings per share or the profit per share is $20 divided by the number of total shares, which in this case is 10 shares. This means that our profit per share or our earnings per share is $2 per share. That means that if the price of a share is currently $1, someone in the market is willing to sell me the share for $1, that means the price to earnings ratio is one, the price of the share, divided by the earnings per share, two, which means the price is currently half the earnings. Now this is a pretty ridiculous and unrealistic example. The PE ratio is also called stock multiple and generally what we'll see in the stock market are stock multiples or PE ratios of anywhere between you know, 10 generally and 25 and for tech companies even much higher. Which means that you know, if we see a PE ratio of a company that is 30, that means the current price per share is 30 times how much profit that company makes per share every year. So what the PE ratio can tell us is it can give us an indication of how either undervalued or cheap a stock may be. Now, just as a disclaimer, this isn't a you know one size fits all a rule that says cheap or expensive, um, but it's just one indicator that we can look at that can give us clues as to whether something is cheap or quite expensive at the moment, based on the earnings of the actual business. So generally, PE ratios of less than 15 are considered good PE ratios. When we're getting to the realm of 10 or below, this can be a really good indication of a cheap or undervalued company. It's also important to note that it's not the full picture. You could have a very low PE ratio of a company that's about to go bankrupt, that's not performing very well, that's on the decline. And you could also have a very low PE ratio of a company that's doing quite well, but has just been sold off because there's been a coronavirus market crash and people want to sell off their shares. And so that creates the environment where good companies can actually sometimes have very low PE ratios. Alternatively, if we were to see PE ratios of above 20, that might give us an indication that a stock is currently quite expensive and maybe there's reasons for that, but it can just be a way for us to quickly see how is this company priced with respect to how much money it actually makes. Because at the end of the day, 
We want to buy investments that actually make money and perform well, not just based on what people think its price is, but on the actual performance of the underlying asset, in this case, the business. So to wrap this up, the PE ratio is just a quick way for us to see at the share's current price, with respect to how much money the business actually makes, is it cheap or is it expensive at the moment? And we can use that as a clue to either disregard that share, you know, let's not look any further, or we can say, actually, this looks interesting. Let's dig a little deeper. And on the digging a little deeper, I'll cover videos on how to do that in the future. So if you enjoyed this and you found this useful, uh, give the video a like and let me know in the comments what type of content you'd like to see, or if you have any questions about the PE ratio or even other ratios. I'll look to cover a number of value investing ratios in future videos. And I'll also look to do, a, do some content on the financial statements of companies as well, which these ratios are based on. I'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.